Let's get it going. Let's get it. We are rolling. Popping, yo. Pop. Oh, oh wow. Boy. Right off the gate, we're just <sighs> popping pop and locking. <laughs> I'd love to see Joe pop and lock. That'd be fucking hilarious. Cause I'm so good at it. Oh yeah. man. Oh, that would be real great. Get some, get some cardboard boxes laying down on the floor. That's break dancing more like, but you know, I, I get, I get where you're going. You know where I'm going. I can okay. warm up with the break dancing and then move and to the pop, pop and lock. lock. Yeah. Well, hey everyone, welcome to the Nostalgia Effect, the podcast where we examine movies from our childhood through the lens of adulthood. As always, I'm Amy, and we got Joe and Johnny. Also, always us. Yes. Hello. Except for have... Thursdays. Not always. Sometimes I'm not here. That's true. That one time you died. It's only that one time that I died. Yeah. Yeah. We also have a special guest. So if you hear crying or hissing, it's I'm me. Not Amy. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I brought my cat in because there was some stuff in my apartment. So she's here and she's kind of in a mood. Yeah. Ooh, Fuzzy baby. guest. Yeah. Ooh, chonky baby. But it's our Christmas episode. Johnny's favorite. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> but today we're going to talk about yet another Ernest movie. Hell. Ernest yeah. saves Christmas. How did we agree to this after the last Ernest I, I Sarah had the same question. I was yeah. like, I we just really didn't think about it. We should have just been like, no. Let's yeah. Because yeah. I was even going to say, like, guys, listen. <laughs> Na- National Lampoon, but I don't, I guess we wanted, we wanted to suffer. I was going to say, yeah, I was going to offer an alternative and I asked if you'd already watched it and you had, and I was like, well, I don't want Amy's sacrifice to go in vain. <laughs> it's true. It's very true. Hey, I true. told you guys, I make you watch shit, watch shit movies, so I will watch the shit movies that you give me. Yeah. And as I was saying, I only recommend gold. So, you know. So it recommends more shit. Yeah. So you guys yeah. have to you guys have to balance it out. <laughs> but because this is our last episode of the year, we're going to talk about some of our most anticipated movies of the year. Next year. Yeah, next year. Because it'd be weird if we were anticipating movies that already came out this year. Yeah. Uh, well, some of us aren't good about going to the theater. Like me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which was very prevalent in last week's episode or the previous episode. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah. Well, I also don't have that AMC stub, so it's a little bit yeah. harder. That thing is great. It is. It's really good. It is if you go to the movies enough time. And it's just like... Eh, yeah, I mean you have to be active about it. Active, yeah. you have to actively use it. But it's still, I mean, it's do, a great, it's a great deal. Ooh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I think I think I did the math one time and like AMC one month, sponsor us. I saw like two hundred dollars worth of movies. Oh yeah, <laughs> Jesus Christ! I mean, but they were crazy upsells. Like I saw, I think it was that that year or the month that Free Solo came out, and that was only an IMAX, so that was like yeah. a yeah. more expensive mm-hmm. ticket. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. then, um, and then I saw um, They Shall Not Grow Old, which was also like a special and engagement thing of some kind yeah. or another oh it was 3d that's what it was, oh, it was yeah. 3d so that was more expensive um, yeah 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 if i can i try to go to a better version of i mean yeah the if you're paying this i mean oh, yeah. it's the same shit like because well. it's like one of those tickets is basically the price of that pass for a month oh yeah yeah oh if you hear others screaming and crying there are children there in are the children here that we are not responsible for they're not our children it's they're one just... child actually it is one making child. all of that noise <laughs> yeah it has been all damn Day. By the way, yeah, we're going to talk about the movies we are uh, anticipating. Yeah. Uh, Amy? Who, do you want me to start? Yeah, go okay. for it. So there's a couple in here that I'm like, I don't care if I, 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 I'm I excited for this only because I want to see what happens or for nostalgia's sake. You're anticipating. I'm anticipating it. I'm going to definitely go see it. Mm-hmm. And I'm just listing these in order of, order of memory that they're coming out slash looking off of a list. So they're kind of in chronological order. Mm-hmm. 1917. Hell yeah. It is limited release on... Oh, I I was like, I thought that uh, comes out this year, but you're right. Yeah, it comes out limited release on Christmas, which is like two days from now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then wide in January. Uh, And I saw an early screening of it, Mm -hmm. and I can tell you that you are correct to anticipate that film. That one is one I'm actually very excited for. I've been excited for it for a while. It is outstanding. I have not been excited for it for a while. Up until I saw, I think I went to go see the Joker, and mm-hmm. then I saw the trailer. I don't think I'd ever seen the trailer. Yeah. yeah. I saw the trailer, and I was like, "Holy shit, this yeah, looks amazing!" Because I yeah. think I remember telling you, like, "Oh, this looks really good. It's Roger Deakins. It's all yeah. in one take." Sam Mendes. Yeah. 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 And you're like, hadn't heard of it. Yeah. And then after we, you got back from the Joker trailer, you were like, "Yeah, 
or from the Joker, and you yeah. saw the trailer, you're like, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, this is really good. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I will say that, speaking of They Should Not Grow Old, that's a fantastic companion piece mm-hmm. to watch, mm-hmm. I would say, mm-hmm. before it, just yeah. to sort of get a sense of... That's Sam Jackson, right? Uh, not Sam Peter Jackson. Jackson. <laughs> Can Sam. you imagine Sam That'd Jackson? That'd be so good. <laughs> I, would, I would watch that documentary. Yo, so these motherfuckers were taking a trench. <laughs> So would abs- po- absolutely positively have to kill every German mm-hmm. in the room except no substance. Yeah. Damn, that uh, would be after good. that is uh, Birds of Prey or the Fantabulous yeah. Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. I'm yep. very excited for that. Also on my list. I'm also, I'm, I'm, I don't know if excited is the word, but it's definitely, it's piqued my interest where yeah. I'm like, I, def- I want to see it. I want to see what's happening here, what's yeah. going on. Yeah. Um, Margot Robbie was like one of the yeah. best things about yeah, that true. She was really good. Not one of the. She was probably she was the best. Ben thing. Affleck's five minutes in that movie as Batman were also pretty good. Mm. Yeah. And uh, Jai Courtney was not a wooden cutout of a person. He actually like showed up that day, so I thought he was pretty good. I eh. I don't remember him that much. I don't remember most of that movie except for Margot Robbie. Yeah, yeah. she was yeah. a breakout. I mean, yeah, no, pretty much. No, like if hands or butts. Yeah, that and Wolf and Wall there was Street butts. What really? Oh, yeah. Really mm-hmm. propelled her into stardom. It did. It's true. Did it? No, I mean that was that was like her big thing. Yeah, she done other stuff. It was stuff, like it was like was well, big, yeah, that was her thing. big thing in America. Yeah. Um, and then onward the Pixar movie with Chris Pratt and Tom Holland. I, I am very excited for that. I, just I am, finally saw the full trailer for that. I am not at all excited about that. It's weird. It looks I, bland as hell. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what to think about it. I just it, I, I'm, it, I'm not interested. I like both Tom Holland mm-hmm. and Chris Pratt, and it's cool. But it just looked like whatever. It yeah. looks it know. looks like a D and D kind of thing, and I'm, I mean, you guys know I I love some D and D. I don't play it. You do it. not. You like watching people watch watching people play D and D. I mean, that's I still enjoy D and D. In I don't play it, but I enjoy listening to a podcast or watching a game of D and D. It's interesting to me. It's fantasy. Mm-hmm. But you don't. Mm-hmm. And it's Pixar, so yeah. it's gonna be good. I yeah. don't know. I've been. I mean, as you guys know, I've been slipping on like Disney and Pixar stuff. Yeah. Um. I have to. It really takes a lot for me to like actually like watch yeah. one, and I always enjoy them. I don't know why. Yeah. It is, but it's just it's one of those things. Yeah. That you have you to just really... watch Moana. Yeah. And Frozen. And Frozen. Yeah. Um, both fantastic movies. Yeah, they were. I, I liked them. They were both really good. Um. But. Yeah, I just I don't know something about watching them in theaters or like as soon yeah. as they come out or like I'm never in a hurry. It's hard to get there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, I will say while I'm interested in Onward, I'm not like the trailer didn't do necessarily anything for me other than make mm-hmm. me think it was weird looking, but uh, I'm gonna go see it because it's Pixar and I'm sure it'll be great. Yeah. However, I did see a trailer for the movie Soul, which is yes, the that other is on Pixar. my list. Oh also. yeah, I yeah. forgot about that one. And that one has my attention. Like yeah, there's they only had like my a curiosity, small teaser. Now they have yeah. my attention. It's only a small teaser trailer, and yeah. I'm like, I want to know more. I want to know everything that this movie is about. Yeah. yeah. And it's like that one line that um, Jamie Fox is like, F- or do something that makes you happy or whatever. I'm like, like do what makes you happy. Yeah. I'm like yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I will not. I only do what makes me miserable. Also, I think it's probably the first time a black character has been the lead of a Pixar film. Yes. Fucking so, racist. So that's a uh, long time coming for sure. Yeah, because I mean, like, I feel like the only time black that. character that we've had in a Pixar movie is Frozone. No. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, no, Frozone. Uh, Frozone certainly famously. I mean, there have been other characters, but like side characters. Like, yeah, so Frozone's the only like big, big character that... Yeah. yeah, that is interesting. Um, I'd never thought about it. Yeah. But you're right. Mm-hmm. Bunch of racists. Yeah. yeah, one that I'm anticipating only because I love the first one is A Quiet Place Part Two. Oh yeah, I'm mm-hmm. like I don't think it needs a sequel, but I'm interested to see the journey that Emily Blunt goes on. So I thought it was going to be about like other people entirely. I don't know for sure. I have not it, seen that it movie. Definitely didn't need a sequel. You're yeah. absolutely right. It's like a perfect, perfect movie. I love it so much. The first yeah, one. Yeah, I do remember you were raving about it. It is good. Have, have you not seen? I told you, I have not seen it. Do I literally you just said it. I want to borrow my Blu-ray. It's a fantastic film. I love I it. I don't want to borrow your Blu-ray. Basically, the whole movie is the kitchen scene from Jurassic Park. Yeah. That that my tension. least favorite scene. What? I'm just kidding. I love that scene. <laughs> yeah. Come on, like, everybody. Come on. Uh, Come on. I love A Quiet Place so much. I know. I, I've, I mean, <laughs> again, it's it's one of these things where it's like, I know it's not a bad movie. I know I will enjoy it. Yeah. But like I said, I only make decisions that make me miserable. So, you know, it's really hard for me to be like, oh, do I want to be happy right now? Okay. I don't think you'll be happy watching this movie. You'll be happy that you watch the movie. I don't know. But you won't be happy during the movie. All right, you're selling it. You're selling it. Uh, Next is Mulan. I am. This is the only remake Mm -mm. I am excited about. Mm -hmm. 
Well, because you were saying, Joe, that yeah. there's no music, right? It's not at all. It's Correct. not a. Which it's, is one of the things I'm very excited about. There's no, there's no music. There's no mushu. There's, there's it's like more traditional to mm-hmm. the the folktale, the, the yeah. Chinese folktale. Yeah. I don't know if I like that. I saw the trailer when I went to go see Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. It's like the first time I've seen the trailer since it premiered. The teaser? Yeah. So there's not a new one? No. Okay. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was just that teaser trailer that they played. Um, mm-hmm. And I was just like, oh my God, I mm-hmm. forgot how excited I am for this movie. Yeah. I'd forgotten that it was coming out. But I feel like if you, I don't know, the music's a big part of all the this music stuff. Is. Yeah. But I like the fact that they are yeah, taking trying a to do, different route. At yeah. least, yeah. When I, you know, because it's, it's not a shot for shot. I mean, it's not the Lion movie King. You already yeah. love. Yeah. Like, if you're or gonna make Aladdin a different, or... if you're gonna yeah, make a new true. movie, make a new movie. Otherwise, yeah. stay home and watch the great movie that you already own right. or have access to on Disney Plus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Disney Plus, please sponsor us. Disney Plus and AMC, please sponsor us. Please. We love you so much. We use you on a daily basis. We give you too much of our money. Yeah. Mm, you guys really do. Yeah. yeah. I only sort of do. <laughs> yeah. Joe and I are like, we are owned by Disney. Yeah. yeah we're corporate shields. You guys are a bunch of corporate shields. Yeah. Um, next, sticking with Disney is the Black Widow movie. I am yep. beyond I, excited I'm for this. Excited I have that, on, that. I have that on my list as well. I, I'm just curious about it. I'm going to watch yeah. it because I've seen every Marvel movie, but I have, I don't know. I just don't care. Well, especially I, after Endgame, I got like really attached to Black Widow during Infinity War and Endgame. Mm. I was never a big fan of hers until these past two movies. Really? Yeah. Huh. Mm. She kind of annoyed me. I don't know. Mm. I've, I have an on re- again, off again love for Scarlett Johansson. So Mine's sorry, only Joe. on. <laughs> Mine is only on. It's always on. Um, I've come to appreciate her in the past couple of years. Yeah. Well, I'm just curious because they they some there was a lot of mm, blowback. Uh, about her handling the handling of, of her mm-hmm. character in Endgame, and I agree, I 100% yeah. agree. Um, there's even a really great deleted scene uh, that's I think on Disney Plus that's a, like an alternate version of how that's not even on the Blu-ray. I don't think so. What? Um, and uh, it's an alternate version of how she and Hawkeye get the Soul Stone. Mm-hmm. I think it's a lot better, mm-hmm. really? and I think it plays as like a much bigger moment for her, a much bigger huh. hero moment. I don't think and it's it's on Disney Plus. So yeah. they have like a bonus material and stuff. Yeah, on it? I don't yeah. think I've ever. Yeah, actually if you look out. on Disney Plus, they have a tab that says bonus, a bonus okay. on like everything, even things that don't necessarily have bonus. Usually, it's just a trailer. Yeah, oh, wow. but it's uh, so it's like uh, so I kind of I feel like they sort of shortchanged her character a bit, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and um, uh, one of the interviews, that, one of the many interviews that the Russos gave after the movie was uh, that they couldn't really do that much with Black Widow mm-hmm. because they were told, "Hey, she's gonna be back in her own movie." Yeah, and so like it was like a thing that Marvel sort of yeah. engineered in terms yeah. of, of of how she was handled mm-hmm. and her fate in that film. I think one thing that also really turned the tides was in my upswing of appreciating Scarlett Johansson preparing between Infinity War and Endgame, I rewatched the first Avengers movie. Yeah. And that opening, or her first scene in mm-hmm. that movie is fantastic. Well, she's to the chair. And I'm like, okay, yep, Scarlett Johansson, you got me. That is so badass. I want to see more of that. Plus, Florence Pugh is going to be in it. Right. And she is, fa- like, I loved her in uh, Fighting With My Family. Mm, she's great. She's mm. the only reason I'm considering watching Midsummer. Mm. I didn't mm. know she was in that. Yeah, That's... she's the main character. I've heard very mixed things about that film. Yeah, my yeah. roommate hates that movie. He came home after watching that movie, and he was furious. Like, the man was furious, and he was just ranting about it, and it, it was the funniest yeah. thing. Yeah. I've heard very, like, there's either people who really love it or people who are like, no, yeah. don't go. Yeah. It's, so I really, really disliked Hereditary, mm-hmm. and the people who loved Hereditary seem to really love Midsummer. So mm-hmm. it's like, I yeah. don't think I'm yeah. looking for the same thing. And I didn't for. see either of them, because yeah. I don't think I would be a fan of Ari Aster's work, because it's just like this uncomfortableness, yeah. and I don't like that uncomfortableness. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. Next. Um, Legally Blonde 3. It comes oh, out on right. my birthday. Mm-hmm. <laughs> really? And That's funny. I am a massive fan of the original. We released it here at Shout. And I was so excited. We almost got to interview Reese Witherspoon, and it would have been the best day of my life. Yeah, but it didn't happen. No. <laughs> but I, yeah, like when they announced that they were releasing Legally Blonde 3, I'm like, I didn't like the second one. I'm probably not going to like this one. But yeah. I, I have to see it anyways for nostalgia's sake. I know literally That's all, how they get you. Yeah, I know all literally right. all the words to the first one. It's mm. I, I have to see Legally Blonde 3, especially yeah. if it's coming out on my birthday. Yeah. It's, it's made, made sp- for you. specifically yeah. for you and mm-hmm. all the people that were burned on the same day. But yeah. it don't matter. 
Uh, next is Wonder Woman 1984. Yeah. Also on my list in terms of, I'm just curious to see. It's what on my list. That is one that yeah. I'm curious because about. Because it's, it's just curiosity. Um, I feel like this movie, we talked about this the other day. I feel like this movie, we saw like stills of this movie, I feel like two year years ago. ago or yeah, more. it was yeah. that, like not this past Comic Con, the Comic Con before that. Yeah, I feel and like. it's like, holy shit. Like, yeah. the, the, the How long first does it movie. take to make these movies? Well, well, I mean, it's weird because it was like one of their more success critical successes yes it was, their, uh, really it was their like first kind of their one. first yeah since yeah. they started this whole endeavor and I, I feel like the the amount of time that's taken between the first one and then when the second one comes out mm-hmm. is so long in between i feel like, like we talked about this on a we previous did. episode we, we because... found out that it is almost exactly like three years yeah. between the first one because the first one came out in June after I moved here, and the second one's coming out in June in 2020. Right. After you moved back. After moved you moved back, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to Indiana. Yeah. Uh, we, we, we're <laughs> kicking you out of the state uh, of California. We took a vote. Yeah. Um, okay. All of us. Well, <laughs> bye, guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like we, we did this math, too, where it was like, all right, in the span between you know DC films Marvel's released how many movies yeah, yeah. yeah. it's just it just seems strange considering that like DC has released like, more movies since then that haven't been that great I yeah. mean with the exception yeah. of Joker yeah. um, which is, doesn't but count doesn't really this. count for the DCU and Shazam Shazam, Shazam yeah. was, was okay. middle it was okay, it was okay. I it was, wouldn't see it again it was better than it was most of the DC. it was at least more fun and <laughs> yes. the, thus yeah. being more rewatchable you yeah. Know? yeah Uh but yeah it's still strange that it, I feel mm-hmm. like it's I feel like this movie's been Develop, de- development, holy shit, I'm having a stroke. Development for more than like for oh, years Oh yeah, since now. like August of 2017. It's not even development. It's been in production yeah. for a really long yeah. time, which is, which is crazy. Yeah. So I, I, Unless I'm like, there's just like a lot of special effects or something. But I just, so. I just yeah. don't know. Like I need to see this movie. I mean, and it's also like, I feel like when they started this movie, or production wise anyways, I think they still had, DCU still had a roadmap to what it was going to do yeah. in terms of its characters and its movies. Which is which is why I'm curious about Yeah, which is yeah, also, I'm like, I'm wondering like, how does that work? Yeah, you know now that essentially half of their universe has crumbled mm-hmm. and gone yeah. away. Yeah, so like I'm, I'm really interested to see. Probably why it's what, taken. So I mean, long. I would assume yeah. that's why. Even though Henry Cavill has come out and said that he's not necessarily done playing Superman, mm-hmm. but Affleck's done playing Batman. Yeah, yeah, and Michael B. Jordan's pitching uh, Superman to Warner. So although I heard that he's not, he's so busy with so many other things that he's probably not any of- and well, his involvement would be a little further off. Yeah, like story than, by, like concept by kind is, of producer. Is he, is he in, is he in talks to actually play Superman though? Because that would be no, I don't think, think so. so. I just I I did it's see probably the just story like working on a... with concept art of him as Superman. Yeah, but I, I just heard he was pitching to Warner Brothers, and they keep tossing around. And it wasn't like official Matthew concept no, no, no. art; it was yeah. just fan made. Yeah, yeah, it was a fan made concept. Uh, and they keep talking. Like, I would love, to, honestly, I, like I think he could play Superman just fine. I would love to see his Clark Kent if he if he was ever to play yeah. like a, like this like this bumbling kind of mm. milk toast loser type who's, yeah. who needs to disappear. It would be into a very background. different character for I him. Don't know. Oh, man. I think we're just done with Superman. Superman is Superman great. Superman is Superman dead. Superman is great. He sucks. Never Nobody been a big fan gives of a shit. Wait until you wait until we watch the Richard Donner Superman. Oh god. Oh god, that's going to be a monster. That's like what 3 hours long? No, it's like two and a half. <laughs> yeah. I'd Still rather watch The Irishman, which is three and a half hours long. But Superman the Richard Donner Superman is so good. Okay, I have, we get it. You love Superman. I have a couple more. Yep. <laughs> um, Soul. We already talked about that. Uh-huh. Um, I know this one is on your list. Joe the Kingsman. It's on yours too. Hell yeah, yep. it is. Yep. And I'm yep. upset that I have to wait longer. I know. Yeah. It's so crazy. Disney. Why Disney, we are in us? such a bad relationship with you. It's toxic. <laughs> it's a toxic relationship. <laughs> um, next is Halloween Kills. It's the next one. Uh, uh, oh, the yeah. new mm-hmm. Michael Myers franchise. Yep. I still I like, haven't I seen like it. I like that other one. That was good. <laughs> oh, I really like the other one. The first one of the the, the, the first, the 2018. The Danny McBride one. Yeah, yeah. the Danny McBride. Uh, I will say one of the least attractive casts as a whole of any movie I've ever seen. Like, it felt like they picked real people off the street mm, to yeah. be in this movie. They were, by and large, not a good looking cast. Bunch of uggos. Yeah. Right. Uggos. Yeah. So, I, too, that's why you don't feel bad when they die. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. I'm really excited to see how that happens. I think Danny McBride's writing again. Mm-hmm. Writing and directing. Oh, he yeah. directed it too, right? Uh, uh, I think he, did co-wrote he just wrote it. it. He co-wrote okay. it. He co-wrote and he it. Did and not direct. Did okay. not direct. Yeah, I, I, I'm just interested to see. Yeah, but it was another yeah. comedian director. Mm-hmm. Um, comedian director. Yeah, but it was a good did. movie. I yeah. heard it was great. It was my, it's my second favorite Halloween movie. Yeah. Mm. Um, and then finally, this is one. It's going to break Joe's heart when I say this. Oh, that Lord. I am only curious to see, also because of the Harry Potter in me. Fantastic Beasts three. 
There's they're they're making a There's, third they're one. Making they're making five, five of them. They, well, I, think I know, they have I know to that, make five. That was their original plan. Yeah, but, but didn't Rollins, the last one not plan. do great? Their plan was to make money? money on these too. Yeah. Yeah. but that's it hasn't happened. They're yeah. still pushing forward. Well, the Joe's first one probably written all of them though. Yeah, not me, Joe Rowling. Yeah, uh, I think Joe she has Ann. a deal. I think she has a deal with Warner Brothers. It's like you know you have complete control over these movies, which is clearly a problem. Yes. Yeah. Um, but then also I think they're like, we promise you, we will make these five movies, and she's like, great, I'll just dick around for the whole mm. like, she's, script she's, writing process. Uh, George R. R. Martining it. She is. Yeah. Well. Yeah. But Terrible. that is that is my list, and um, I know you probably both have some more to. So I I have some overlaps which I will not yeah. mention here. Um, but I did see a trailer for Gretel and Hansel, which looked like a really interesting horror film. Mm. Um, like pretty. I spooky. think I remember seeing that. Yeah. Um, who's in that? Nobody. No names? Uh, yeah. Wait, no. There, there's. Uh, is it the kid from Stranger Things, or is that a different horror movie? That's a different of? one with what's her face from Terminator. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. What's her face? McKenzie. Yeah, McKenzie, McKenzie f- something. Davis. Davis. Davis sounds right. Yeah. Um, uh, no, the the girl, the girl in Gretel and Hansel, I think, is from Oz. Uh, no, not Oz. Pfft. It is Bev, oh, Bev, yeah, Bev Marsh. Yeah, from... yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did remember seeing... Jessica Chastain? Sophia Lillis. Oh. She's great. Yeah, and so anyway, she's... she's She's Gretel. And so that that looked like an interesting horror film. I think I mentioned it last week, the movie, or when we talked about Hook. Mm-hmm. Um, Wendy. Wendy. Yeah, which, I, uh, yeah. I don't know if you saw the trailer. I did for see that. the trailer. It looked I good. I did not. I, I'm, I'm I just interested. It, it seems, it again. seems very interesting for sure. Um, I have to put on here, which I believe is the new Bond movie, No Time to Die. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm interested oh, in yeah. that. Oh, yeah. I, I would I'd say I'm excited for that one. Except you don't know James Bond. Yeah, I don't yeah, know I was James like, you Bond. haven't seen a single James Bond movie. But we are going to be movie. doing a James James Bond leading yes, up we to will. it. So yeah. um, I I loved Casino Royale. Casino Royale. Tolerate so good. Quantum of Solace. Love Skyfall. I haven't seen Skyfall. I hate Spectrum, and that is a secret shame. <laughs> Skyfall. I so love good. Spectrum. No, I Spectre. Uh, Spectre. Spectre. What did Spectrum. I say? Did I say Spectrum? Are we are we watching a cable company now? Spectrum <laughs> Petrodom. Uh, no, Spectre was awful, yeah. and so I did see that one. But, I'm curious uh, to see how this one. I hope it's. I hope it's good. Yeah. Uh, I want it to be good, and it's also Craig's last one. Yeah, and mm. we're getting a female Bond. Yes, I was just talking to Sarah yesterday that I think uh, I don't know if you know Lizzo, but I, I was thinking that Lizzo <gasps> oh. would be great to do like a song for James Bond. Yes. Ooh, like a good intro song. Like Adele, yeah. Adele yeah. I think she could one. do it. I think Lizzo could oh, really yeah. knock it out of the park. Lizzo, by the way, was great in Hustlers. Yes, she was. She was fantastic. Yeah. I wanted more Lizzo, especially with that flute solo. Yeah. <laughs> um, Tenet, the next Nolan film, is uh, oh, that, that's what I don't that know was. That, yeah. Um, so I'm I'm curious about that. Isn't Tom mm. Holland connected with that too? No, mm, I don't that's think so. that's got. Uh, um, Denzel Washington's son. What's his name? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, John something. Washington. John David Washington? John David Washington, yeah. 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 That's what it is. I was like, John um, something. Don't yeah. So Robert excited. Pattinson, That's Elizabeth right. Debicki, Aaron yeah. Taylor Johnson. So I'm excited for that. Kenneth Branagh, Michael Caine. Yeah, I'm excited for that. I, I hope I like it better <gasps> than I liked. Clemence Pose, who plays Fleur Delacour. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I hope I like it better than I liked Dunkirk. Dunkirk was... Uh, Dunkirk is great. 1917 was a much better version of Dunkirk. Dunkirk is great. Um, right. I, just, I like Dunkirk. Yeah, it's more. really good. I liked how it was put together, but I want characters to relate to, and I want them to talk to each other at least. Why? Oh, yeah, that's why you don't like war movies either. Well, wow. no. I, what I don't like about war movies is just that, like, we come in, things happen, and then it ends, and all we learn is war is bad. And oh, so, it is. Well, it was, yes, I fully agree. But I still feel like a movie is responsible for telling a story, and so movies like Black Hawk Down and Fury and 1917 are really good war films because they're still movies. They still remember that they have to be movies. Mm-hmm. And Dunkirk is like below those. And then the movies that I dislike are like <laughs> Saving Private Did Ryan you watch and Apocalypse Hurt Locker. Now? And uh, no, still haven't watched it. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. Because it's not, also, it's, it's, like not three hours. it's more of a journey. Yeah. It's like more of a journey. Self- well, it's not really a well, it's war film. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah. Not, it's not a war yeah. film. It's set during a war. Right. Ghostbusters, the new Ghostbusters uh, is coming yeah. out, mm-hmm. Um, which... Mm-hmm. It's, Who knows is it written and directed by Reitman. Jason Reitman? Reitman? Mm-hmm. I know it's directed and I think it's written. Yep. Um, but uh, God knows what that's going to be like. Yeah. But uh, hopefully I, he falls in the footsteps of his father. <laughs> hopefully they do my idea for a Ghostbusters film, which I pitched to people today here at work, and everybody's like, oh, yeah, I'd see that. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's a new Conjuring movie coming out, the last of the trilogy, with uh, Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga, which I'm excited for. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I haven't um, seen a single one of those, and I never will, because oh, I don't like supernatural horror movies. But they're so good. 
I don't um, care how good they are made. I just don't <laughs> like the content. I yeah. don't not like it. Uh, and then I got Trial of the Chicago 7, which is an Aaron Sorkin film that I'm excited Ooh. for. Is he he wrote and directed or just uh-huh. wrote? I think he, directing as well. Okay. Because uh, mm. the first thing he directed was Molly's Game, yeah, which Molly's I really, game. really like. Uh, and then lastly... Eternals, uh, which is a Marvel film. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm ex- that's the one that's. On is that the list. one that keeps getting pushed? It was. It, it put, got pushed a long. Well, it got. It, they were gonna make it. It was on their slate, mm-hmm. and then they made a TV show out of it. Right. That's the one with Maisie no, Williams, right? Or is that Immortals? That's Inhumans. Inhumans, not yeah. Eternals. Yeah, Eternals yeah. is the one with Maisie Williams, right? Mm, no, it's the one with. Um, it's got no, that's you think in New Mutants. Yeah, that's oh, the Fox one. Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie, <gasps> Kumail oh! Nanjiani. <gasps> okay, yeah, never mind. Um, I'm excited for that one. Yeah. Um, Kit Harrington. Harrington? Uh-huh. Yeah. So it, it does. Have, it does have a Game of Thrones. Yeah, it's got. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. it's got yeah. a Game of Thrones. Uh, so I'm curious for that because it's like, all right, Marvel. You, yeah. Let's show. Get, You're getting weird. Get weird. It's yeah. time to get weird. <laughs> let's get weird. That's, yeah. I'm, I'm. I'm pretty. I think out of all of them, that's probably the one that I'm most excited about. Yeah. Because I don't know a lot about the Eternals, like in yeah. terms of lore. I only. Um, I only know of their existence. I could. I could, like. Yeah. I can give a sentence about them. That's yeah. It. Um. And so I'm really. This cast looks really w- good and strange. Like it's yeah. just a weird collection of people. Yeah. Um. But I'm excited. I'm, yeah. you know, definitely excited to see it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Any other ones that we didn't cover that you're looking forward um, to? Um, no, I think, like I said, I don't go. I mean, I'm not, you know, I don't go to the movies as much as you guys do. No, I don't think so. I think we're good. Okay. I mean, we could also mention Top Gun Maverick, but me. Does anybody really want to see that? I kind of do. Oh, Artemis Fowl. I forgot about that. And Fast and Furious Nine. Ugh, Artemis Fowl looks terrible. It I... does look really bad, and it's gotten pushed like three times already. I read oh, the yeah, book. That's right. And I remember, like, somebody described it to me. Like, oh, that sounds great. So the, I read book the book is, the first book is fantastic. I, the subsequent ones are not as great. I had trouble with the book, like, tonally. Yeah. You know, like, I, well, I think, when did you read it? How old were you? I you was were probably too old. I was a grown ass man. Yeah. When I, read it. I read it when it first came out on paperback. So it was, like, right in my age range kind of thing. So I really liked it. Sure. But mm. he is also a 12 year old boy. You know, and well, but I like I Harry Potter. Boy. And I like Harry Potter. And the first time I read Harry Potter, I was in college. Yeah. yeah. I think Artemis Fowl is written for 12 year olds. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And Harry Potter is written for Everybody. anybody. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, that's it. 20, yeah. 2020 hopefully will be a good year for films. Hopefully. Do we want to talk about a bad briefly year? Briefly for... talk about Ernest Saves Christmas or our thoughts All right. before? How have this? you guys never seen this movie? <laughs> the same I actually we have never seen Ernest Scared Stupid. I th- I'm telling you, I think I have seen it at some point. I, yeah. I remember seeing Ernest movies. Yeah. I don't remember any of them, like yeah. what happened. I just remember the character of Ernest yep. and having movies that mm-hmm. he made. I mean, a bunch of you know, a yeah, bunch of different all stuff. Over the place because yeah. you're on TV commercials too. Yeah, and so uh, and For so I'm guys. pretty sure. For us. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I uh, I've seen this one. Yeah, I don't remember anything about it, so yeah. it's kind of like my first time. Mm-hmm. But I do remember Ernest being, you know, a guy. Yeah. yeah, Amy. Um, I know nothing about this except I'm not super excited for it. Did you know it existed? Yeah. I heard the title of it. I, and same thing with like Ernest Scared Stupid. but I've like heard some of these Ernest titles, but I'm just like never watched them. Yeah, they never yeah. appealed to me as a child. <laughs> right. Let's see if they appeal to you as a grown ass man. <laughs> yes, <laughs> grown ass man. <laughs> when did you, did you? When did you first watch this? What's your first experience with um, this movie? I so I don't remember a time when I didn't okay. know so Ernest. Just always around. Yeah. Always around. So is this another holiday staple like Ernest Scared Stupid? You is? know what? It's not, and I'll tell you why. Um, for whatever reason. Ernest Saves Christmas was on television, mm-hmm. but I never, I never owned a copy of it. Uh-huh. Um, and and it was just, it was just on television, but not on television as much as the other ones for yeah. some reason. Um, and so I only ever caught it on TV, mm-hmm. and it was always like, oh, it's been on for twenty minutes. Oh, it's mm-hmm. been on for an hour, and so I'd watch it like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I mean, it was never a thing that you actively went out and got and then like watched it right yeah. right. Because I mean, as the years went by, like. They stopped playing that movie. They, they did. It's true. <laughs> um, and, it's uh, not a Christmas classic. People do not remember this movie fondly. Aww. Yeah. Do they fondle this movie? Maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah, I've, I've told people that were watching this, and they're like, good luck. Yeah, Sarah was like, why are you doing this stupid podcast? And why are you watching stupid movies? Because <laughs> um, we like to torture wrong. ourselves. Yeah. As I said earlier, only make bad mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> only make bad decisions. Um, well, shall we? Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's Bite the bullet. Like a Band-Aid. Rip it right off. Fuck it. Bite the bullet like a Band-Aid. <laughs> Bite the bullet like a Band-Aid. It's our new song. And now, our feature presentation. 
Oh, you guys. <laughs> And we're back. Uh, I hate us <laughs> so much. I did I'm think so of, glad we're doing a part marginally better movie next time. It's, it's it is the the next movie is is a genuine classic. I did think of a good title for this episode. Yep. Uh-huh. Ernest and Joe ruin another holiday. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, there we go. <laughs> That's you know what? Right. T- funny, funny. Uh, interestingly enough, yeah, I like this one better than Scared Stupid. I it's not I as do too. it's not as it feels like an actual movie. It's more like a punch to the face and a kick in the groin. Yeah, <laughs> well, it's because it feels like a real movie. I can't yeah, that like, <laughs> hey, listen, no matter who you are, <laughs> either one feels good. Yeah, With, the other one felt like it was like a definitely like a kids movie, like a made. Goofy, it's like yeah. it's, 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 it's Ernest Scared Stupid is a goofier, dumber movie yeah. than this movie is. Oh yeah, but mm-hmm. it, 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 it reminds me of those like uh, like straight to video uh-huh. uh, cassettes that yeah, yeah. we used to rent. You know? But this is like still a, a theatrical release because yes, Scared was. Stupid was the last theatrical release and that yeah. was made three years after this. Yeah, right. I was like, I, you can tell that it, uh, just from watching this one, yeah. you can tell this one came before because mm-hmm. it's a lot less, it's a lot more um, it's restrained. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot more restrained. Like there's yeah. not, he doesn't like, he's not always constantly changing characters. Yeah, that was one like, thing that I was like, okay, I, I really, really appreciate that he's doing one character at a time and he's like dressing up. And, and it's story motivated. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And it's not like just some randomly thrown in montage of yeah, barrage of cra- of craziness. Yeah, because yeah. because I do I and I do genuinely love the characters that he puts on, like Auntie Nelda. <laughs> yeah, like, some of them are really I great. I from was... the airport and will be dead soon. <laughs> and and uh, or uh, poison, poison thing. No, I'm not, I was not endeared yeah. by that. <laughs> um. I, I know I told you guys that there was one joke that I actually really liked. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I forgot about um, that. What is, what? And it was the girl was getting mad at Ernest. She's like, I don't like I don't eat red meat. And all uh, and, and Ernest is like, pork's my meat. Yeah. And then and then they get to Vern's place and she goes, oh, are those bacon cheeseburgers? <laughs> I actually laughed out loud. I was like, OK, that's, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> that's like the lumberjack joke. Yeah. <laughs> well, and I do love I do love because because that's how Vern used to be depicted in mm-hmm. the show and in the other films is this off camera yeah, you know, yeah. fish eyed he's like thing. a fish you only yeah, you never yeah, actually you only saw his, him yeah. his point of view mm-hmm. and I do love how he's just you know this 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 man is essentially suffering through Ernest's intrusions into yeah. his life mm-hmm. this is the only time apparently that Vernon was shown quote unquote on screen oh, you mean like he appears in appears, the movies yeah. Yeah. oh yeah, yeah. Like as, as a character yeah yeah um, I do the, the thing the, the the part that I laughed the most at this movie and the part that I really liked it's just a one bit one gag it's when he gets the Christmas tree from the road and he yeah. just like tosses it <laughs> Oh, and it, like, boom. smashes the yeah. window and, and goes like, across Santa. the other window. I'm <laughs> yeah. just like, that's pretty funny. Yeah. Santa's yeah. like, you must have really needed a treat. <laughs> yeah. No, He's I know like, a friend nope. who does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, hey, look, you guys enjoyed it a little bit. It's, you know what I mean? It's not, <laughs> you know it's mean, not Vern? that you know we mean? enjoyed it. It's just that it was less better. painful than it was the other one. Better. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. As a movie, it functions just better. I yeah. do have a question. Does he change jobs every movie? He's always something different. Okay. And Ernest goes to jail. He's a janitor. And Ernest goes to camp. I think he's a camp counselor. What the hell was he in? He was a garbage man he was and a scared garbage stupid, man and stupid taxi stupid. driver in this one. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I think he gets fired fairly often. I mean, he got that's fired fair. from the taxi job yeah. at the beginning of this film. Yeah, that's right. Um, I did also, I have I uh, just, there's at the beginning yeah, there's a, a row down Pittsburgh diss. Did I you know. Get, did you get I, that? I did, and I was, I was like, like, "Oh, I wish Sarah was here." I was like, "Oh, that's uh, funny." Yeah, I don't think I caught that. Yeah, I know, he says something about like, "Oh, it's like flying out of Pittsburgh or something, or yeah. flying into Pittsburgh or oh, something." Or it's yeah. like, "It's like could be worse. We yeah. could be flying into Pittsburgh." Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> "Ah, I got him." Yep. yep. Um, I thought it was very funny that the little girl, like before she like ran away and changed her name she's yeah. originally from bloomington indiana which is mm. uh, yeah. where most of my family went to college oh, really mm. yeah huh. iu indiana university that's funny hometown um i will say it's interesting that same guy who made the pittsburgh joke mm-hmm. um he says i'm he says something about i'm from toronto uh, mm-hmm. and i was like no you're not because people from toronto say toronto god you're just the like, worst just like oh, people god. from atlanta say atlanta atlanta that's yeah. how i always say it i'm not, not from atlanta but, but you have southern relatives do you not they're not southern like atlanta southern <laughs> <laughs> they're southern indiana they're still in the midwest uh, they're honorary it's pretty southern I'm um they, they do have slight southern accents uh, I did think it was funny. I don't know if you guys thought this, but the opening credits with the the Santa drawings. They were. I got I like, bored. I stopped watching. Well, oh, like from like the the old like ninth the, the what is it twentieth century yeah. Santa Claus. But 
But I was. But what was funny is more than well, not more than half of them. Many of them had Coke products. Well, because it's yeah, that's, they that's, were the Coke, that, the Coke Santa. Yeah, I know. But I just think it was kind of funny that it's like, oh look, it's like an advertisement. Like they didn't try to make new versions of the uh, Santa. Yeah. Like yeah. they used the classic ones. Mm-hmm. And then also, I think the guy who's responsible for like producing so his, his name is Coke Sam's. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. Coincidence? I, I don't think, think so. Not. Uh, I did think there was one interesting thing in here, um, and it's super quick. When he opens up the glove box in the um, in the taxi to give Santa sunglasses, sunglasses, but they were three D glasses. Yeah. Oh, well, they were yeah, they were like the disposable kind. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they were sunglasses, but they were like disposable. But there was like a bumper sticker in there that said "Keep the Christ in Christmas." Really? Yeah. Yeah. And I, like when I, saw I, it, I, I like, vaguely Whoa. remember that. I don't I, like, remember I saw that at it, but all. I don't think it really registered. Yeah, because that was like a big thing. I don't know yeah. if you guys, either of you, remember that, but that was like a big uh, sort of campaign for a long time oh yeah yeah yeah. i mean i went to catholic school yeah the keep the christ in christmas that was still that was still a big thing even in like the 90s like late 90s to early 2000s yeah it was a big deal it was like it was like that decade's starbuck coffee yeah thing you remember when all those people were upset about the yeah the the, just the red cups the red holiday yeah yeah. I mean, that's still a big thing. I, I do think it's also interesting. This movie is certainly not the first to do it, but it's part of, it's another entry in the genre of Santa Claus must be replaced movies. Mm. Yeah. Which I thought was kind of interesting, which we did with Santa Claus. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, uh, and we've seen Much it better other movie. films. Like oh, yeah. Fred Claus, I think, was, was Fred. like that. The one with Vince Michael. Vaughn. Vince Vaughn. Oh, yeah. And then uh, I think they also do it. Noel, it, the new um, the new Anna Kendrick movie on Disney Plus. I haven't watched oh, it yet. Oh, uh-huh. spoilers. God. But I, I remember the trailer and her brother has to replace their father. Right. Mm. And he like runs away. Yeah. It's like um not Fred Armisen. Bill Hader. Bill Hader. Yeah. And like Billy Eichner. Interesting. Um and then also I think uh Arthur Christmas is like that too, that computer animated film. Oh, I oh yeah. Mm. With uh Jay Baruchel or somebody's the voice uh, of is he? I don't think, I think, I don't I think don't so. I, th- I think guy just looks like Jay Baruchel. Yeah, yeah he the does. Computer character. Um, because they're all British, I think. Because it's all um, Jay Baruchel's Canadian. It's kind of British. <laughs> yeah, it's part of the Commonwealth. Mm, Canada, you know, New Zealand, Australia, yeah, England, whatever. Um, anyway, but I thought that was kind of interesting. It's like that's yeah. a common like a genre. thing with with the Santa movies. Well, you um, know, you can't have an eternal flying fat man forever <laughs> right. you know the thing about that though is i thought he was going to recruit Ernest, and Ernest was like gonna become santa or something like that i did sort yeah. of think that towards the middle of it where it's like oh this guy but then i was like mm, i don't know yeah, yeah. doesn't make sense i don't know i i do, i don't know if you noticed did you did you recognize the, santa no you didn't recognize his voice at all i did recognize his voice sort of kind of i mean he just reminded me a lot of like alec guinness like oh i could see that yeah, yeah um so he was the sultan in aladdin ah that's where it is uh, yeah, yeah i see it now i can i can i can hear yeah. it yeah like is all you gotta hear, i wish that, that at no point did he say but you're so old. old. <laughs> um, anyway, but he's in, he's been in a ton of stuff. Mm-hmm. And when I, I was like, oh, I know that voice. I know that voice. I know that voice. And then I finally got it. I was like, oh, shit. And I went to go look it up. Uh-huh. He's also, interestingly enough, uh, in Ghostbusters 2. Really? Yeah. Although I don't know where. Uh, well, but I it. guess that's our next movie. We're going to have to find Spoilers, out. Spoilers, listener. No. Oh. Um, and then, uh, and then make a note, Joe. I will. <laughs> uh, and then also, um, he played Santa before that in, in Amazing Story Santa Stories. 85. Yeah. Yep. That's one of the fun facts that I did not copy over because I don't have very many fun facts. Right <laughs> nice. Um, I actually do remember some parts of this movie. Really? I remember only specifically the reindeer parts. Oh, when they're walking when on they're the roof? When they're walking on the roof. Yeah. That's the only, and, and then when he calls like the, or the animal control people uh-huh. come in and he's just like. That was actually kind of funny when the lady's like, oh. oh. Oh, you want... traffic control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember that the, that part. But everything else, I do not remember. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then at the very end, you know, E. Bunny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Boom. I thought I was oh like. Oh, my God. I did uh, not like that. I was like, what Yeah, the, I was like, what? I will. Are you kidding me? I was like, I get this is a dumbass movie, but. <laughs> like, literally, my note is, and WTF was the airport guy's reaction when the Easter Bunny pops out of the box. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, "Oh my god!" Okay, but those two, so, those two guys. So I'm guessing from those two guys are. Well, yeah, they're the same people. Yeah. But, so they just they're like side characters to his shtick in mm. every movie. Yeah. Uh, they are not in every movie, but they show up a lot. Are they mm. in the show? Were they in the TV show? I don't recall. Mm. And it's been so. I mean, that the show I have not seen since I was little, yeah. little, little. But I think they appear frequently, frequently. Maybe yeah. not all the time, but frequently. Mm. I was like, okay, I kind of get it. The shtick, the spiel. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I, I will. 
say it's less abrasive. It's less in your face and abrasive and silly yeah. than yeah. Then. So I it's did, tolerable. It's at a tolerable. Level. I did yeah. get bored with it, but it, yeah, it wasn't as like grating on me right. as yeah. Scared stupid one. Yeah. Um, did you ever notice the guy in the crop top in the jail? There was this no, dude. No, I kind of checked out. His shirt was like out. here <laughs> below, just like it stopped like right below his his nipples, <laughs> and then he had this big hairy oh belly. My, uh, That's pretty uh, funny. He hasn't been planking. No planks. No. Um, no planks for him. So did the Santa, did Santa, the old Santa and the uh, museum lady end up together? Because what happened? Oh, they. Mrs. Uh, Claus. My, oh. so my note. Oh yeah, she, she says there's things that we can do or something. My she note is, I was like, oh, are yeah. these old people about to fuck? Because <laughs> she's like, are you doing anything tonight? He's like, oh, not really. He's like, we'll find something to do. I was yeah. like, Phew. Listen, Listen, when you're that old, you ain't going to waste time. You're not going to muck about. I mean, yeah, but also, this is a family movie. <laughs> yeah, which I have fun fact about that. Uh, when Jim Varney asked why the movie received a PG rating, he replied, unusual cruelty to reindeer. What does it do to the reindeer? Nothing. I don't know. <laughs> Nothing. It, they're on the roof? I guess so. I mean, yeah, you don't really see much of them, honestly. No. You just see the shots of them when they're yeah. on the roof, and then that's about it. You know what else is kind of cool is typically the reindeer's names are incorrectly pronounced specifically Donder. Yeah. Because it's I Donder, that not like, Donner. I was like, I thought it was Donner. Mm. On Dasher, on Prancer, on Donder. Common, on Cupid, on Donner, on Blinson. Yeah. Donder? Donder. Yeah, I, like every time he said that, I was like... Wh- You're like, I knew you were stupid, Ernest, but I didn't think you were that stupid. Yeah. And he keeps saying it, and nobody's correcting him. I'm like, yeah. it's... He's wrong. I know the song. I... It's one of my favorite Christmas You don't songs. know the song, apparently. It is Donder. But That's a most stupid people, it's name. Like a famously well, I was today deal. years old when I found mm. out <laughs> that it was Donder. Yeah, Donder. It sounds like Dander. It sounds like Donder. <laughs> oh, talking about dongs. What? <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, you know, it's enjoyable. I. It's. Mm, I don't say it's enjoyable. It's tolerable. It's. Much yeah. like, you know... Me. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, I have one more fun fact, unless anybody else has anything more to add. Uh, I do not. Um, Joe, it sounded like you did. Let me see. I do. I, I will say. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I like that nobody in this movie is weirded out that a 16 or 15 or 14... How old I don't is know she? how she's supposed to be. A teenage girl, she's hanging out with a grown-ass man. And an older man. And an older man. And they're just like, everyone's just chilling. Like, she's like in his house. Like, what? Yeah. I don't know. It's yeah, and it's weird. like they they go to the movie set, and she's like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna go, you know, see my cousin." And then she like backs up, like she's gonna go back inside Ernest's house yeah. while they're pull, like they're driving away. It's yeah. I'm like, well, her cons are not good. <laughs> no, like very obviously, but it's like, oh, so you guys are just like automatically like really close friends now. <laughs> Enough for her to like just go hang out at his place. Yeah, it was weird. I was like, hmm, yeah, what's, what's that? I think I think Ernest is one of those folks who just. Is, is so stupid that he can't be predatory. Yeah. <laughs> um, so so going back to the Donder thing, mm-hmm. which I just think is interesting. It says here um, that uh, it was later modified in 1844 and the names are changed. Uh, Donder, which is uh, close to Donner and it means thunder uh-huh. in German. And Blitzen, which means lightning. Oh. Um, to better rhyme with Vixen. Hmm. Um, but I think that's actually just really cool that two of the reindeer are thunder and lightning yeah like that kind of thor yeah i mean it makes it well so, so much thor so many, is santa so Ooh. actually so I mean, many of our christmas in-game traditions thor is yeah, santa so many of our christmas traditions now are he's influenced thick. by literally yeah. um but uh so many of our christmas traditions are influenced by norse Nordic. and german mm-hmm. mythologies yeah. um uh, i think odin is actually more typically associated with like disp- dispensing gifts and mm. stuff like that. there's also huh. a there's also a woman character's name i can't remember who also visits homes and stuff like that so there's so you yeah. know that's all kind of links into each other i mean that's where we get the yule log too the 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 ancient norse would like cut down a big evergreen drag it into the mm-hmm. hall set it on fire and then like party around it yeah you know? i remember i went to an irish catholic school mm-hmm. but i remember we did this thing and i'm pretty sure it's like german or norwegian where you wear a wreath of uh, like leaves like holly mm, leaves yeah. and four candles yeah i very vividly remember blonde braided hair mm. not mine yeah. but like pictures in books when we were talking about this stuff in like our religion class mm-hmm. or like our history class when yeah. we were, it was around christmas time well even the practice of the christmas tree is german yeah in, in origin so 
Um, Thanks, Germany. Yeah. Um, but I was I was thinking that um, with uh, Beautiful Dave in the Neighborhood and Mr. Rogers being the thing right now, I thought it was kind of interesting that this Joe Carruthers character was mm-hmm. very much so a yeah, Fred Rogers like, type. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, like even the puppets and, and everything. But then also, I think this goes to your point about the movie not being as grating. Mm-hmm. Um, both both uh, Santa Claus and Joe Carruthers mm-hmm. are genuinely playing these roles. They're yeah. not. They're not trying to just like Beesh. mug for the camera yeah. or uh-huh. be characters that will entertain children. Like they're really trying to make. Well, they're that. At, least, at least feels warm and genu- genuine. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. they know that their story is the heart of the movie, yeah. and they're acting like it. Yeah. And the movie treats it that way. Yeah, and they're not bad. They're yeah. not bad in it because like, yeah, you, 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 that does come across. Yeah. in the movie, which I think is what makes it, like you said, more enjoyable. Like it's yeah. it's not as slap. It's not as goofy as out mm. there, you know. It's just yeah. it's a Christmas movie, and it's got yeah. heart and warmth it does. to it. It does, and not a lot, but it's there. But it's there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I have one more fun fact okay, before Amy. we we talk about if it holds up or not. Hit us. Um, Joe, you may find this fact interesting. Uh, this was the first movie filmed at Disney MGM Studios, now named Hollywood Studios. One of the very few movies filmed there. Yeah. Because there was like there was what, another the Bette lottery Midler. with Bette Midler, yeah. which is I think the only other one. Yeah. I, so I they think built they... a whole studio. Yeah, well, because they had like a bad lot tour. Nothing. So basically, yeah. Michael Eisner had this wet dream that it would essentially become the Hollywood of the East, mm. and that which it would there be... is, by the way, a Hollywood Florida. Yeah, yeah. I know that. Um, and they they basically he wanted to one up Universal Studios Orlando mm-hmm. and say like not only is this a theme park themed around movies but we actually make stuff here yeah and and they tried to move like feature animation over there they made I think one movie uh, over there or something really? I don't remember I remember going past um, like when they used to have the studio backlot tour kind yeah. of thing there yeah. Going through an animation studio, and they had like mm-hmm. prop right. and costume. There was departments. a costuming department as yeah. well. Yeah, and know. then like a huge warehouse that was like almost Indiana Jones yep. uh, type thing. Top men. Um, but yeah, it was. But they but they tried to make that mm. a a filming destination. Interesting. And yeah. it failed because and then it, and it was so it got to the point where they actually had fake productions going on so that tourists walking through would be like, oh, look, of there's course. a thing yeah. happening there. Of course. Uh, yeah. Not surprised. But that's interesting. I was uh-huh. cause I was wondering about that because even well, had like it, stages and stuff and I was like, Yeah, it also says a majority of the interior filming was done at a local Fox affiliate in Orlando. Yeah. So I don't know which, it, it feels like there are two kind of conflicting facts, but yeah. I mean, it, there could be some of it that's filmed. No, I'm, I'm, I mean, it could have yeah. been exterior someplace and, yeah. you know, interior somewhere else. I mean, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. You film all over the place. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, I figured you would appreciate that. I do appreciate that fact. I also appreciate that Good. fact. Good. I'm glad that you appreciate that's it a, as you well. You know what? I had fun with that fact. See, it was a genuinely fun IMDb fact. Hey. Yeah. Fun Amy fact. You know? Hey, but you guys, does this movie hold up? Joe, you're probably the one that would be the hardest to say yes you, or no to. You know to. what's funny is, as much as I enjoy Ernest, I can see why yeah. Ernest has, has has left the public consciousness. <laughs> Faded from yeah. memory. <laughs> yeah. Literally, yeah. like, if you're above a certain age, you do not know who this person I just, is. I just love the characters and the voices. And, I mean, he transforms his face. I mean, yeah, yeah. he and does. He does get... He, his character I mean, work is good. It's just... It's too much. No, yeah, it's too yeah, much. Yeah, it's too yeah. much. It's well, definitely... In this movie, it's not too much, which makes this movie more yeah. enjoyable. I think Scared Stupid is a remnant of the of the 90s yeah it is because that's when everything got very big and loud and in your face especially with like nickelodeon Mm -hmm. had attitude all of of their programming was like bright colors Mm, throwing things at their audience and Ernest is definitely a product of the 80s and 90s the the pie in the face of of movies yeah yeah Yeah. but uh, yeah to me it does not hold up i mean it's no santa claus it is no santa claus (laughs) tell you that much it's fine um i wouldn't ever watch it again like of my own will and volition like i wouldn't be like hey guys let's watch ernest saves christmas uh but i I, in terms of ernest movies i'd say it's pretty good (laughs) hey all right i'll take that i mean yeah it's not terrible but out of the two ernest movies that i've seen it is the best one (laughs) yeah that's true that's very true and there's more and there's so many more there's so many more i love to voodoo (laughs) there's so many yeah i would not recommend ernest goes to africa or ernest joins the army they were shot on video they're clearly they're direct to video like like the vhs truly direct to video they were not even shot on film nice yeah well well thanks joe for ruining another holiday i do what i can
Happy holidays, that's what everybody. Do. <laughs> this is our gift to you. It's a wonderful <laughs> gift. Oh. Let us know your favorite Christmas movie on Twitter or Instagram at Nostalgitis, N O S T A L G I T I S, or on email, nostalgiaeffectpod at gmail.com. And don't forget to be kind and rewind. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Don't look oh, so Christmas upset, tree. Johnny. Oh, Christmas tree. I do oh, love Christmas what he's tree. doing. <laughs> oh, Christmas tree. Because, oh, like, who knows the words of that song? I mean, yeah. I kind of Nobody do. knows the words of that song. <laughs> Not even Jesus himself. Nope. nope. He <laughs> made it. It's his birthday song. Yeah. Come on. Come on. All right. Merry Christmas, everybody. And happy Hanukkah and... Holidays. holidays. Feliz Navidad.